Hey, welcome to MWC Insider. I'm Sue Merrick, and today I'm here with Tammy Wyman of Amazon Web Services. Tammy is the global head of partnerships for telcos at AWS. So Tammy, how is MWC going for AWS this year, and maybe how does it compare to last year in terms of the partnerships? Yeah, this year has been fabulous. I mean, there's so much energy on the floor and you can really see the power of the ecosystem that's coming together. So specifically for AWS, I think we've had some really um, exciting partnerships oh. that we've been able to demonstrate here or, or announce. So one of them is our TELUS Smart Home. And this is a great example of how AWS and TELUS have come together thinking, how can we help build off of some of the assets that are already present in TELUS and really address a key friction point in the smart home environment, which is, how can we help configure all of the plethora of devices and operating systems in a way that becomes a single pane of glass, very seamless? So we spent a long time working on that, working backwards from the actual customer need. And at this uh, Mobile World Congress, we were able to announce the joint solution of Telus Smart Living. Great, that sounds like a pretty challenging project to figure out. So what do you think um, are the biggest partnerships announced at the show and how will they impact the industry? Yeah, I think um, what I'm most excited is seeing about um, some of the launches, actual launches of use yeah. cases for 5G, right? We've been talking for a number of years about the promise of 5G, and we've been doing a number of POCs, um, trying to understand where will be kind of the stickiness within the industries. Mm -hmm. And now we're seeing launches of things like um, Telia, just a launch working with AWS. So a year ago, they wanted to work with us to figure out like how do they bring in innovation to their end customer? And so one of their first goals was, to get their employees up to skill in what the cloud means and what the potential is. So we worked with them to right. upskill 10% of their workforce. Mm. And now a year later, we've launched one of the first 5G use cases with one of their end customers, Transval, who's a, a major logistics provider within the Nordic regions. And uh, we've launched uh, asset uh, tracking and uh, supply chain on 5G. So it's, it's really uh, exciting for me to see like, that promise that is now um, coming to fruition and seeing the you know the scaled use cases that are happening out in the market right. with our partners. And lo logistics is always a, a vertical that they always talk about 5G being important. So it's nice to see a use case like that. So what's in store for the telco industry in 2023? I think 2023, we're going to continue to see that tipping point in 5G. We're going to see more and more uh, industrialized, scaled out mm -hmm. use cases in 5G in mining and manufacturing. Um, healthcare, automotive, and we're going to see that it's the ecosystem that's coming together to create those. So one example of that is in uh, private 5G. Uh, mm -hmm. We launched integrated private wireless, which is a platform that brings together kind of the best of the, the ecosystem. So it brings in uh, uh, telco providers who bring in their spectrum. Uh, and we tried to find providers who would be able to provide us global coverage. So looking at KDDI, Telefonica, T-Mobile, mm -hmm. Deutsche Telekom, there are a number of others that we launched with, as well as combining the uh, ISVs who are bringing the innovation into, you know, once you have a private uh, 5G network up and running, well, what are those use cases? And then I think the, the real innovation is bringing them together in one place in, uh, in a portal or a marketplace mm -hmm. where it's discoverable. So we're really helping the end user, the industrial or the enterprise customer, actually kind of simplify the buying process. If, if you're out there, um, maybe as the head of supply chain for a, a medium or large business, and you say, I, know, I think I need you know, a better network here to run the port or to run my factory, it's really daunting to say, where do I even start? Because you have so many offers. So what we've been able to do is kind of curate the connection um, as well as um, the different use cases. And you can come together, find it, and then you're able to contact directly with the suppliers of those in like a kind of a package solution. Bringing it all together. Exactly. That's important. Yeah, yeah. so Great. I think that will re you know, really f uh, facilitate the expansion of 5G. Um, we have a recent study by IDC, which is talking about a potential um, market of eight billion dollars. So, you know, we're just we're just scratching the surface there, and uh, we really would like to see that accelerate. So, we're, well, we're doing our really part. That's really encouraging news and great numbers. Thank you, Tammy, so much for joining me today. It was great to talk to you. Thank you.
Thank you.